Here is the recap of the first and second seasons of Yellow Jackets. The series is set in two timelines, 25 years apart. I'm going to tell you everything in order, so you don't get confused and it's easier to understand what's going on. There are also a lot of characters, so for convenience I won't mention them unnecessarily. In 1996, the high school girls soccer team, the Yellow Jackets, are getting ready for an important competition and the teens are very worried about losing. One of them, named Tessa, breaks the leg of her weakest friend during training, which is why she does not go to the competition. After that, the other girls are afraid of Tessa. Best friends Shauna and team captain Jackie share all their secrets, but Jackie does not suspect that Shauna is sleeping with her boyfriend. The next day, the whole team boards a plane and is joined by the coach and his two sons Travis and Javi, as well as the young assistant coach Ben. Soon the plane crashes and falls somewhere in the woods of Canada. All of the crew members, the head coach, as well as several of the girls are dead. The survivors try to recover and find Ben with a mangled leg. A girl named Misty, who has been taking first aid courses, realizes that her leg is beyond saving and chops it off with an axe. Before, she was not liked because she is a little strange, but now because of her knowledge becomes important to the team. At night, Misty finds an emergency beacon with which they can theoretically be rescued. However, after receiving so much attention for the day, she doesn't want it to end and breaks the only hope of rescue. Few days pass and the heroes realize that for some reason rescuers cannot find them and food and water run out. The team decides to go to the lake, which is a few miles away, and find a hut with a corpse in the attic and there were strange symbols painted around it, which were also found on the trees in the area. Natalie and Travis, being quite good at shooting, become hunters for the group and feelings soon flare up between them. Tessa and Van also develop a relationship. Soon, several of the girls head south to find help. However, they are attacked by wolves and hurt one badly, mutilating her face. After that, the girls go back, Lottie suffers from a certain psychological disease since childhood and constantly takes pills to keep her mind in check. However, the medication runs out. The girl begins to have visions, and sometimes she even sees the future. Soon the heroes find an airplane in the woods, apparently belonging to the owner of the cabin. One of the girls knows how to fly it and decides to fly for help, but the plane explodes. At that moment, Lottie realizes that she had foreseen this earlier. The heroes begin to starve, since there are no animals around. Soon Misty falls in love with Ben's trainer, but he understandably does not answer back. The girl decides to seduce him by giving him tea from hallucinogenic mushrooms, but they are accidentally mixed into a common pot of soup. The heroes, not understanding what is going on, start going crazy and are going to eat Travis, because of this, his brother runs off somewhere and is never found by the end of the season. Nevertheless, no one is hurt that night, and in the morning a bear comes out to the cabin. Lottie approaches him as if in a trance, and he lets himself be killed without resistance. Shauna realizes that she is pregnant, recalling that she slept with Jackie's boyfriend. This becomes known, and the friends fight. Jackie goes outside and falls asleep by the fire, but at night it snows and the heroine freezes to death. We are also shown that in the uncertain future, some survivors have banded together, hunting their former friends and feeding on their remains. We are transported to the present in the year 2021. We don't know how, but some heroes were saved after spending a year and a half in the woods. We are not told how many or who they are, but will only be told about a few. For your convenience, I will attach pictures of them in the past so you don't get confused. We learn that the survivors made up a legend for the public. They told them that they simply starved for a year and a half, which caused some of them to die, and they omitted the details. Taser runs for the Senate and realizes that information about what they did while they were in the woods could damage her campaign. She hires a private detective 
who tries to find out from the other survivors what happened in the woods, but they all remain silent. Tessa has a wife and a young child who notices that his mother has begun to sleepwalk and he is afraid of it. Tessa doesn't know what to do since the last time this happened was 25 years ago back in the woods and doctors can't help her. One day she comes to her senses in the street eating earth and their dog has disappeared somewhere. Toward the end of the season, the heroine's wife finds a secret room in the basement where she finds the dog's head, after which she leaves the house with the child. Natalie gets out of rehab because she was once addicted to drugs. After a while she receives a postcard with a symbol and a hint that the person who wrote it knows their secret. The woman suspects it is Misty and goes to her house. She has been working as a nurse in a nursing home all this time and assures Natalie that she also received a similar card. They call Tessa and she confirms that she received one too. Misty and Natalie go to see Travis, who has been hiding somewhere for years. They arrive at his place, but it turns out that he committed suicide, leaving Natalie a note that says, you were right. Soon the girls discover that someone has placed candles around the hang Travis, repeating the outline of the symbol, but then they were removed. Only traces of wax were left, and the police did not pay any attention to it. Shauna has a daughter named Collie and is married to Jeff, the same guy she slept with behind her best friend's back. He loves her madly, but Shauna has obvious mental problems, as do all the other survivors. Soon the woman gets into a minor accident and meets a guy named Adam. She starts dating and subsequently sleeps with him, and her daughter finds out about it. Soon the surviving women receives a message saying that they have to get $50,000 or the blackmailer will tell about what happened in the woods 25 years ago. The heroes find the money but decide to find out who is following them, but miss him. After a while, Shauna discovers that her diaries, in which she detailed what happened 25 years ago, are missing from the safe. The heroine realizes that her boyfriend Adam has confided in her on purpose to learn their secret. Shauna goes to his house and accidentally kills him. Calling her friends, she tells them that she found out who was blackmailing them and they help her get rid of the corpse. When Sean arrives home, she begins to suspect that Adam was innocent and learns that the women were actually being blackmailed by her husband Jeff. He simply owed a huge amount of money to the gangsters and after reading his wife's diary, he realized how you can quickly get rich. He didn't want to drag Shauna into all of this. Def did not change his mind about his wife and even forgave her for cheating on him. Earlier, Misty kidnaps a private investigator, thinking she is the blackmailer, unaware that she was hired by Tessa. Toward the end of the season, the heroine kills her, framing it up as an accident. Meanwhile, Natalie is upset over the death of Travis, with whom she had an affair in the past. She decides to end her life, but suddenly people wearing matching pendants with the symbol burst in on her and kidnap the heroine. We learn that Lottie is somehow involved. This is the end of the first season. If you've listened all the way up here, you like what I do, so subscribe to my channel, like this video, and write a comment. In 1996, the characters try to survive the harsh conditions of the Canadian winter. After all the inexplicable events of the previous season, Lottie becomes what you might call a shaman. Roughly speaking, she hears some entity living in the woods and helps the other characters survive by performing various rituals. However, there are still no animals around and the characters are starving. Meanwhile, Sean has not been able to say goodbye to Jackie for two months and talks to her corpse. Soon the friends decide to burn their friend's body, but a sheaf of snow falls on the fire, and instead of burning, Jackie's body roasts. After that, the starving teenagers pounce on the food. Then alone is shocked by what is happening, after which he becomes wary of children who are ready to eat each other. After a mushroom trip the previous season, Misty is once again treated with hostility, but she gets along with a quiet girl and they become best friends. One day the teens went to take out a bucket of garbage and started sharing secrets. Misty, overjoyed, 
tells them that she broke the emergency beacon right after the wreck. The stunned friend wants to tell everyone about it, but Misty starts threatening her and she accidentally falls off the cliff. Just then a heavy snowstorm begins and the heroine makes it look as if her friend is lost. Travis is still trying to find his missing brother Javi, but Natalie realizes that in two months he is probably dead. She wants to make things better and tosses Javi's bloody pants, after which Travis stops looking for him. Meanwhile, Tasa continues to sleepwalk and goes to the trees at night with the symbol, then follows her and eventually realizes that the marked trees on the map also form this symbol. Soon Tasa finds Javi, but he refuses to say where he has been all this time. After a while, Ben discovers Zavi's drawings and recognizes the familiar roots. After that, he finds a cave under the tree. Because of the hot springs, it was warm, and thanks to this, the boy lived there for two months. Meanwhile, Lottie teaches the girls to listen to the forest, and they also begin to see some mystical meaning in all of this. It's time for Shauna to give birth, but because of complications, the baby doesn't survive. The distraught girl takes her anger out on Lottie by beating her badly, and Lottie, for some reason, stops hearing the voice of the forest. The heroes understand that they will have to sacrifice someone not to starve to death, so they draw lots, and the Queen of Hearts draws Natalie. She runs away scared, and the teenagers chase after her, intending to kill her. Javi is the first to find Natalie in the woods and is going to take her to the very cave where she can hide. However, the boy falls through the ice. The other girls advise Natalie to let him drown. They then bring Javi's body to the cabin and cut it up for meat. Travis is upset about his brother's death, but the heroes convince the boy that Javi saved his life. Lottie informs the others that she no longer hears the voice of the forest and believes that the local god has chosen a new leader, Natalie, since she did not let her die, after which everyone swears allegiance to her. However, Ben realizes how crazy the teens are and walks away from them. At night he apparently sets fire to their cabin. The girls manage to escape, but now they have to live in the woods. Let's go back to the year 2021. We learn that after some of the girls returned to their homeland after 19 months in the woods, Lottie was placed in an asylum and stayed there for a long time. Subsequently, the woman stopped hearing voices and seeing hallucinations. In 2021, she created something of a cult where she helps desperate people. It was her followers who kidnapped Natalie, but they did so with good intentions. It turns out that at Lottie's request, they were watching the heroine and intervened when the situation got out of hand. Natalie at first thinks that Lottie is crazy, but soon realizes that she is doing nothing wrong here and hangs out at her commune for a while, befriending a girl named Lisa. Soon Lottie tells the heroine that Travis really did kill himself, but there is an addition. A few days ago a man came to her and told her about a conversation he had had in the past with Natalie. The stoned heroine told him that 25 years ago something had gotten into them, but that it never left when they got out of the woods. At first Travis didn't give these words much thought, but eventually he realized that Natalie was right. That's why he left that very note in the previous season. Soon Travis asked Lottie to help him as she had done in the past. However, she had long since lost her strange powers. The man then decided to hang himself so that the truth would be revealed to him, and Lottie had to save him at the last minute. However, something went wrong and the mechanism broke, causing Travis to die. Lottie tells Natalie that 25 years ago they brought a certain entity with them, God of that place. We are also shown that Lottie is having visions again. Misty learns that Natalie is missing and realizes that someone has kidnapped her. Soon on an amateur detective website, Misty discovers that people are discussing Adam's death and making all kinds of theories. There she meets the millionaire Walter, who is very much like Misty in character. A spark flashes between them and they figure out where Natalie is missing. However, Walter begins to suspect that the woman is involved in Adam's death and she drives him away. Misty is then sent to Lottie's commune. Meanwhile, 
Kelly guesses that her mother Shauna killed Adam and her father Jeff is also aware of what happened. Together they try to lead the police on a false trail, but eventually the detectives find circumstantial evidence that Shauna had something to do with it. Soon the police even find Adam's dead body, but there's still not enough evidence. After that, Sean also heads to Lottie's commune. Kelly and Jeff follow her, and the detectives in turn follow the father and daughter. Tasa wins the election and soon finds the basement with the dog's head. She is afraid to fall asleep as her second personality begins to guide her at that moment. However, she soon passes out and wakes up far out of town in a car and realizes where she was headed. Soon Tasa reaches a videotape store and meets Van. They get a call from their girlfriends and head to Lottie's commune, where they all meet. After discussing what is going on in their lives, the characters agree that there is indeed an entity within them, and this entity demands a sacrifice as before. As they prepare for the ceremony, Misty calls Walter and begs his forgiveness, telling him the truth about Adam's death. He arrives at the commune and, being the sociopath that he is, kills one of the detectives. Then he makes it look as if the policeman was responsible for Adam's death, Meanwhile, the women draw odds and the Queen of Hearts goes to Shauna. The others chase after her, but they are stopped by the heroine's daughter Kelly with a gun. Suddenly Lisa appears with a shotgun. She doesn't understand what's going on and points the shotgun at Natalie. This D wants to inject her with poison to kill her, but she accidentally injects it into Natalie and she is killed. After which the women realize that the entity has made its choice. This is the end of the second season. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the like button. Thanks for watching. Bye.